Hello everybody. Today we're gonna discuss about the paired uh, t-test or the paired uh, uh, t-test when the assumption of normality is violated. In the previous tutorial, we tried to discuss about the unpaired or the independent t-test when the normality assumption is violated. So today we'll continue uh, the remaining part. Um, uh, as all of you know, that the paired sample is uh, it's, uh, it helps us to compare the mean of two measurements that are taken from the same individual or from the same object or from the same or uh, from the related uh, units. So today we will create a such type of uh, data and the objective of uh, this uh, paired sample is just to check the academic uh, staff performance regarding to uh, other software or regarding to some statistical um, uh, uh, concepts. So we, we measured the um, academic performance of the uh, the academic performance the R software performance of the academic staff and these are the observations that uh, we recorded at the beginning or before the training and at the end also we uh, measured uh, the performance of the academic staff in one of Japan universities so by this way you can uh, create a uh, example or you can create your uh, data then again you can convert this data also in a good or in the td um, uh, in the tdverse format in order to do that you have to use a function uh, data uh, dot frame function then again rt is the r software training that will give for the academic stuff then uh, we uh, take 12 samples or 12 individuals then we measured or recorded their skill regarding to some statistical concepts, maybe doing of ANOVA, doing of a chi square, doing of t test, and other things. Then we recorded their performance before training, and after training from the same individual, we will record again their uh, R, uh, their R skills. So by this way, we can convert uh, in this way. Then again, submit this to. Uh, our studio so let's look our uh, data frame so as you can see here let yes as you can see here there is rt standards for or it's our factor that means providing of our software training for the academic staff of in one of Ethiopian universities and the R skill is the academic staff uh, skill or their score regarding to uh, the given assignment uh, after training so after and before training so bt standards before training 80 standards after uh, training so by this way we can um, feed our data to our software then again we have to use the wilcox dot test function why we use wilcox uh, dot test function because we consider that the assumption of uh, normality is violated so if you want to check the uh, assumption of normality whether it's not violated or not so you have to use the shapiro uh, wilkes method so you can uh, trace back or you can refer one of my video which deal about uh, in checking of normality and t-test so wilcox uh, test is used for both the paired as well as unpaired but the difference is uh, uh, paired uh, is equal to true means we are indicating or we are telling to our software that we are um, doing or our observation is what uh, can our samples come from the paired sample so you have to provide here the <coughs> sorry you have to provide here is the R skill then it's followed by the R software training so then submit this one and um, let's see the t-test so as you can see here the p-value is 0 0.1692 then uh, we um, we fail to reject the null hypothesis because uh, the p-value is uh, greater than 0 0.05 so since it is greater than 0 0.05 you have to accept the null hypothesis this means that there is no statistical significance difference between the academic uh, performance and the academic uh, staff regarding to our statistical skills so uh, providing or uh, giving training um, is not or it will not change anything so we will accept our null hypothesis then again if you want just to display in a, a graphical way so you have to use here is the dg start plots package then you have to submit this to our studio then again you have to use the function dg within stats then you have to indicate here is data uh, that too is our data name then x-axis will text rt means the 
our software training that's give for us the academic staff then the why which calls to the uh, academic uh, staff uh, skills which is our response variable then if you type this all you can uh, get the result in the graph way yes so as you can see here uh, there is a pair between uh, after training and before training and then again you are you also you can get also the p-value which is 0 0.17 so there is no statistical significance difference between uh, the two groups that means uh, before and after training uh, there is no improvement in our software skill so we will accept our null hypothesis so by this way you can conduct or you can uh, compute the uh, paid uh, t-test when the assumption of normality is uh, violated so this is all about today's tutorial and as usual if you have, if you have any question regarding to my tutorial you can address me through youtube comment box as well as my email thank you for watching have a nice time